Hey folks, this is Fred Bernardo, the smoking guitar player. How you doing? Hey, guess what I'm gonna do today? I'm gonna roast my root. Vegetables, that is. Here we go! Folks, that's right. This is Fred Bernardo, the smoking guitar player. How you doing? And this is Lily, the smoking retriever. And today, I'm going to roast some root vegetables. Root vegetables, I tell you. Now, I went down to the family farmer's market. And in there, I met myself an Amish gentleman. And he said to me I should buy some of these yams that he's got here. Yams! because he had a deal on him, a buck a bag, a buck a bag. Anyway, and he proceeded to sell me bags of yams. Now they're little babies, but he said they're gonna be really good. So I bought myself a couple boxes, a couple bags of those things, and I figured I'll roast them up, roast them on my grill. So everything we're gonna do, we're gonna do here. I also got myself some of these here. It looks kinda of like a purple potato onion thing, but it's a turnip. I got two of them here. I got my yams here. I'm probably going to put a little onion in there. Even That's kind of a root. That grows underground. And then, of course, don't forget, carrots, real carrots. Those kind of been processed already, but hey, you know, the smoking guitar player is lazy. Okay, so I'm going to show you the other stuff we're going to use. So we got our we got our yams. I got our turnips. We got our onion. We got our, our carrots pre-processed out of a factory. Then, we're going to season them now. I got my Tasty Licks Tree Hugger Veggie Rub here, which is really good on veggies. You can just put that on there, that'd be fantastic. But what I'm going to use is the Savory Poultry. Tasty Licks Barbecue, TastyLicksBBQ.com, Savory Poultry. And this is this, the veggie, but it's got rosemary in it. I like rosemary on my roots. So, that's what we're going to use. We're going to season them up with that and with some extra virgin olive oil. We'll show you. And we're going to roast them in our Dutch oven on our charcoal grill, our ceramic grill, a big green egg. Okay? So I'll be back in a minute. I'll show you how we do the prep. So, folks, I was over at the farmer's market, and the Amish gentleman told me he had these yams for me to cook. And this is what he sold me, little baby yams, a buck a bag. Real good deal. He said they're really going to be good roasted. So... I thought to myself, another person came along and said, those are sweet potatoes, those aren't yams. And then I thought to myself, well, wait a minute. Are they sweet potatoes or yams? They're orange on the inside. Then I asked another person, and they said they're yams. So what I did was, I went on that, on that there on my internet. I went on my internet, and I went to my Wikipedia, Wikipedia, and I looked it up, and holy cow, 12 pages on yams. And I gotta tell you, after reading it, I really don't know what I got, but I think they're yams. They're orange. Look. We'll show you when we cut them up. I got them all washed. They still look dirty, but I washed them like crazy. Anyway, a yam is the common name for some species in the genus Dioscorea. These are perennial herbaceous vines cultivated for the consumption of their starchy fibers in Africa, Asia, Latin America, the Caribbean, and Oceania. There are many cultivators of yams. And then it goes on for 12 pages and talks about yams, sweet potatoes, Japanese sweet potatoes, Korean sweet potatoes, Korean yams, blah 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 blah, including some that are toxic and will kill you if you eat them. I hope I didn't get those. A buck a bag. That was a pretty good deal. Okay, so let's do our prep work. First off, when I roast these, I'm going to put a little onion in there with them. And I already have half an onion here that I cut up, so I'm going to just like cut this in some big pieces here, like this here. We're doing everything in our Dutch oven today on our grill. I'm just going to throw it out in there like that. That'll kind of come apart when I mess around with it there. Now the next thing, we got our turnips. And these, we got to peel. So first of all, I'll whack that stuff up in there. Hey, there's some more onion. Let's throw that in. Okay, maybe take this end off. Hey, I washed that already, but it's still dirty, man. I don't get it. I don't want to 
one of those days. Okay, and then I got this peeler that I stole out of my wife's drawer over here. She ain't here today. And I go like this in here, and I peel them. Now, I'm gonna put the camera on pause so I can find a little remote control over here. And I'll come back when these are all peeled. So this is what that's like when you peel them. Now, if you want to try not wreck your, cut your smoking guitar player, guitar playing fingers. Literally, the smoking retriever's over here because I dropped a piece, and she's down there eating it. it. Smells like radish, but I'll tell you, these cook and taste almost like white potatoes, and I like white potatoes. So we're gonna do them with our with our yams or sweet potatoes, whatever the hell it is we got in there, and uh, we're gonna roast them up. Okay, my turnips are officially peeled. Now I gotta tell you, I dropped some of the peels on the ground right here underneath me. And uh, Lily, the smoking retriever, did her darnest to lap them up off the ground. And after she got them up off the floor, she spit them back out. I don't know if that's a bad sign or not. Because, you know, she'll even eat charcoal. But she won't eat raw turnip. Okay, so that's our raw turnip. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and cut these up into pieces that are going to be around the same size as our yam slash sweet potato fingers. And I'm thinking sort of like this. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Like this. And then like this in here. There you go. Put them in our Dutch oven. Put them in our Dutch oven. Here's our other one that I did. Cut that in half that way. This way. I'm gonna do such a good job there. Maybe like that here. Got my wedgies. Okay, those are a little bigger, but they're okay. It really smells like a radish. Now we got our yam slash sweet potato fingers. Let's do those. We're just gonna do these here like this. I think in half's gonna be good enough. Now you see those are the orange ones. So somebody said orange is yam. Orange is yam. That guy told me orange is sweet potato. I don't get it with these people. I'm just gonna put them in there. Now if you see any doobies on the end, like the root cap, cut those off. And then, let's go ahead and cut these babies like this here. I'm even going to cut them like that, make them a little smaller. Throw them in our Dutch oven. Okay, here we go. So we're going to continue on that, and then we're going to show you how we cut up our carrots. Okay, now we finished cutting up all our yams. We put them in our Dutch oven. Bring that over here a little closer. And uh, now we gotta cut up our carrots, so let's do that next, okay? Get our carrots cut up. It says, zip pack. Zip. Okay, chop, 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 chop. Peel, 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 peel. Chop, chop, peel, peel. Oh yeah, chop, chop, peel, peel. Hey, that looks like enough? That looks like enough. Now, Get rid of this, put that over there, and now what we're going to do, we got the extra virgin olive oil and the savory poultry rub. So we're going to give them a squirt, and I mean a good squirt, I probably should just get the bottle over here. Okay, start mixing them up. You notice I keep the one hand clean because I'm going to be grabbing the bottles, but you can put a glove on the bottle. Like my friend Todd Johns from the Plowboys team taught me at his barbecue cooking class. But you definitely want these babies greased up. Now them onions are going to break apart in there and that's okay. As a matter of fact, I'm going to help them. Because we want them to season up the rest of the stuff. Because we like that onion flavor in here. We can put some garlic in here too if we wanted to, but I don't have any so I'm not going to. I'm going to mix all these up. You see what they look like. A little more of this, because, you know, more is better than too much is just right. A little more of that, just to make sure they're seasoned up good. Then, we're going to take it out, and we're going to put it on our grill, and let it roast away. Now, we're hoping on the bottom, we're going to grill it direct. We're hoping on the bottom it's going to caramelize and get kind of crunchy and crusty. Oh, yeah. That's how I really like them. Okay? So, let's go out there. And okay, folks. So, we're out here. 
at the Smoking Guitar Player's Secret Test Barbecue Laboratory, also known as my backyard. Now look, I got my big green egg at around 400 dome temperature, but I got my Guru, my Wi-Fi CyberQ on there, and I'm just monitoring the temperature of the grill. I'm not really controlling it. I don't got a blower down there. And we're gonna put this on direct, and you see we got a raised grid on there, a grill extender. That's to get it up away from the fire a little bit so it don't burn on the bottom. Okay, and there she goes. Close the lid, let it come up to temp, and I can monitor it from inside the house while I'm working on my computer. Hey folks, I just had a brilliant idea. You know, to, to advance our scientific knowledge base, I put my probe from my guru in there. And I'm gonna track this cook. I put it right through two of them big hunks of turnip. And I'm gonna put the lid on there for a little bit until it gets up to temperature. And we're gonna take the lid off, I think. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, folks, we're about 20 minutes into it. We clipped our go, uh, Guru probe on the inside here. This says 420 and this says 360. I believe the uh, CyberCube more than I do the uh, egg thermometer. It's been about 20 some minutes into it. Let's open it up. We have the lid on our Dutch oven. We're gonna take that off. So you can hear that they've been cooking away. You can hear them steaming probably. And, uh, the Wi-Fi guru doesn't like that that lid's open. This, uh, this one here, this probe here was reading like about 111 inside. So I'm going to kind of bury it. We'll put those in the middle maybe. Maybe not bury them, I don't know. We're going to do this here. We're going to cover them up a little bit. And uh, now we're going to leave the lid off. We're going to let these things roast. Because they were kind of steaming themselves. Now we're going to let them roast. We're going to see if we can get them caramelized on the bottom. Okay, so we'll come back and check it a little later. Okay, folks. It's about 35 minutes into it. You can see our cooker is at 375, and it says our food is at 163. Of course, this says it's at 400. They are getting closer. You see how we have our eggs set up? And in there, we've got our root vegetables, and there they are. Now, this wire here is hooked up to the thermometer up top. And uh, there's our vegetables. I'm going to take my glove off here. Probably a mistake. And hold the camera, which is getting a little steamy. Now that's my probe I got in there, which says that those two turnips are at 165. It looks like one came off the end. And there goes our guru beat. Then we're going to turn that off. Okay, those are still hard as rocks. Everything's pretty still hard as rocks. So I'm going to flip it around a little bit with my tongs. First I'm going to put this one aside. Cause that's a troublemaker with that probe in it. Uh oh, the ones on the bottom look like they're getting cooked. Yeah, we got a couple that are soft there, you see that? Let's get my uh, super huge spatula here in there and lift these up and flip them around. Oh yeah, looks like the ones on the bottom there are doing pretty good. Now I'd like these to get brown a little on the bottom, a little caramelized, so I'm going to let the heat go up. Of course I'm going to shut that thing off. That is one annoying beeper on that guru. Okay, so we're going to let them just like this, but we're going to let the temperature go up. I'm going to let the grill get hotter. I got it on a raised grid, you can see here. But I'm going to let the temperature go hotter, see if I can get a little caramelization on the bottom there. Okay, so I'm going to close this, hold my wire. Close this. Whoa! Okay, I'm going to open up the top a little more. A little more in the bottom here and get it going a little hotter. I hope I don't melt my probe wires. I melted two last week. Okay, so we'll see you in a little bit. We'll keep an eye on it. Folks, it's been about 45, 50 minutes. We cranked our temperature up a little bit by opening up our, our egg vents a little bit. And let's check and see. I think these babies are going to be done. Now, I got myself a special tool to test them. That's right, a fork. You know why? We want to see if they're fork tender. That's still a little tough there, them turnips. The uh, yams are kind of done. So note to self, put the turnips in before you put the yams in. But in the meantime, I'm going to just mix them. Oh, there goes our guru beeping as usual. 
So I'm going to just mix them up. This temperature here says 171 inside that turnip. So uh, we're going to cook them a little longer, take them off, and give them a taste. They're looking pretty darn good. Okay, folks, I tried, decided to try another experiment. I'm taking my sweet potatoes, or yams, I should say, and my carrots out because they're pretty thoroughly cooked. I'm going to let the turnips in here. I'll leave some of the onions. I'm going to take some of them out, too. Put them over here. Uh-oh, just lost one. Anyway, as you can see, I'm leaving most of the turnips in there. I don't know if that thermometer is going to work out anymore. We're going to get that out of there. We're going to leave the grill thermometer in, and it's starting to really sizzle good in there. I'm going to see if I can get these done a little more and browned up on the bottom. Okay. What I'm going to do is, I think I'm even going to... I think I'm just going to let them just like that there. I'll let you know what happens. Folks, you're learning by the smoking guitar player's mistakes. So what I should have did, what happened was, my sweet potatoes... What happened was, my sweet potatoes and my carrots got, and my onions got kind of done. Matter of fact, they started getting a little mush. So what I did was, I pulled them out, and my turnips weren't done yet because they were bigger hunks. And a couple of the bigger hunks of sweet potatoes weren't done. So what I should have did was, I should have made the turnips be smaller, but instead, I just decided to put them in here. And, oh, yeah. So I gave them like six minutes, which looks like the perfect time get them a little more roasted. I'm going to give them another minute or two, make sure they're all flipped around. I'm going to give them another couple minutes, just like that. There goes that guru, and we're brown. Oh, man, does that smell good. We're going to let these brown on the bottom. Let's fix a couple of them in here. Let's get that guy down there. Let's get this guy in here. So we want to get them brown before they get any mushier. And I think we're going to accomplish our mission. We're going to give that just a couple more minutes. And we're going to be out here and we're going to take them off. We're going to take them inside and eat them. Okay, folks. This is our final check. It's been another five minutes. And look at our turnips. Oh, they are beautiful. We're going to take them. We're going to put them with our potatoes, with our, our yams and our carrots. And we're gonna have a great dish. I'm, I might not even have a. I might not even make this a side dish. I might make this my main dish. We'll show you what they look like when they're all done and presented on the plate. There goes that damn buzzer again. Folks, I gotta tell you something. Here's my root vegetables, and they smell. Amazing. Let me see if I can get you a little closer up look at that. There you go. Look at that, babies. Now, you know what I'm going to do next, don't you? That's right. It's time to taste them. So, I'm going to do this guy style. I'm going to taste them right out of here. First, those mysterious turnips. That's right. Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, I got myself an innocent little toddler here, and look what he's eating. That's right. Now, I'll admit, there's a little roast chicken stuck in there, but he's got the root vegetables. That's right. Go ahead. Have some there. Have some. Have some vegetables. Turnips, sweet potatoes, carrots. Turnips. Here goes a piece of turnip. Mm -hmm. Piece of turnip. Mm -hmm. There it goes. Okay, wait a minute. That was a piece of chicken. How about going for a piece of carrot right here? Sweet potato. Try this Yams. one, baby. Try that one. Go ahead. Oh, there it is. Check it out. And now, down the hatch. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask you something. Is it good? Is it good? Piece of turnip? It's good. Is it good? It's good. Is it delicious? Delicious. Is it succulent? It's succulent. Is it juicy? Juicy. Want another piece? Go ahead, go for it. Sweetie. One more. Right here. Right there. One more. All right, what? The chicken. Mm. All right. Mmm. Mmm, that's what we wanted to hear. That was a good one. Mmm. Want to try one more? One more piece of sweet potato. See how good it is? Oh, that might be a piece of carrot. Which one do you want? Go ahead. Go, go for, for it. it. Eat it. Yeah. Go for Eat both it. of them. Oh yeah, how is it? Is it good? Yes? Mm. Tasty? Mm. Yes? 
Good? All right. That is proof positive that this recipe is a winner. We'll see you next time.